Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread April 7th The world is in need of workers. Hark, tis the shepherd's voice I hear, Out in the desert dark and drear, Calling the sheep who've gone astray, Far from the shepherd's fold away. Who'll go and help the shepherd kind? Help him the wandering ones to find. Who'll bring them back into the fold? Where they'll be shelter from the cold. Bring them in, bring them in. Bring them in from the fields of sin. Bring them in, bring them in, bring the wanderers to Jesus. The world is in need of workers. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted and were scattered abroad, as sheep having no shepherd. Matthew chapter 9 verse 36. When Christ saw the multitudes that gathered about him, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted and were scattered abroad, as sheep having no shepherd. Christ saw the sickness, the sorrow, the want and degradation of the multitudes that thronged his steps. To him were presented the needs and woes of humanity throughout the world. Among the high and the low, the most honored and the most degraded, he beheld souls who were longing for the very blessings he had come to bring. Souls who needed only a knowledge of his grace to become subjects of his kingdom. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Matthew chapter 9, verses 36 through 38. Today the same needs exist. The world is in need of workers who will labor as Christ did for the suffering and the sinful. There is indeed a multitude to be reached. The world is full of sickness, suffering, distress, and sin. It is full of those who need to be ministered unto, the weak, the helpless, the ignorant, the degraded. Many of the youth of this generation, in the midst of churches, religious institutions, and professedly Christian homes, are choosing the path to destruction. Through intemperate habits, they bring upon themselves disease, and through greed to obtain money for sinful indulgences, they fall into dishonest practices. Health and character are ruined. Aliens from God and outcasts from society. These poor souls feel that they are without hope, and either for this life or for the life to come. The hearts of parents are broken. Men speak of these erring ones as hopeless, but God looks upon them with pitying tenderness. He understands all the circumstances that have led them to fall under temptation. This is a class that demands labor. This passage was taken from Testimonies for the Church, Volume 6, page 254. Our Daily Bread, April 7th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.